All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm a little bit tired because it's Sunday morning and I just got a call from the shippers and my 2021 Ducati Panigale V4 SP limited edition is gonna be arriving any minute now. So I'm tired, but I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, so this is the aftermath of our Conor McGregor Poirier, Poirier fight from last night. We're putting everything away. Dude, that fight was insane. I can't believe that happened. I actually, I, the, the shit that Connor was talking, I'm, I wanted him to lose, but I didn't want him to break his leg when he lost. And um, that was crazy. He was like calling out his mom, his uh, Poirier's, Poirier's wife. Yeah, he's like, she slides into my DM. She's a whore and all this stuff. I'm like, why would you say that? Said that. He did. He I literally said that. I don't think he said the word whore. I uh, he, he did. He said she's in my DMs. I'll see you in there or something. No, I'm, he was calling her names. He was giving Poirier death threats, saying he was going to leave okay, on a stretcher threats, and stuff. Yeah, but I don't know what what his infatuation know. is with his wife. Like, I, it's, it's weird. Why, why would you? He tries to get in people's heads. Gone? Here's the thing. I think Conor McGregor's done because think about this. He's the highest paid athlete of the year in, for 2020, I think, or 2021. He, I don't remember the last time he won a fight. I'm trying what to think. Does anybody thought? remember? Oh, it was Cowboy. Cowboy Cerrone. That was the last. So, three out of his last four fights that in the past the four fight. years, he's won one fight. How crazy is that? Anyway, we're getting off topic here, but um, I can't believe that. I really think that he checked one of those. I think Poirier checked one of those kicks, and that's what broke his leg. And then when Connor stepped back on it, he finished no, it. No, no, he didn't check it. No, no. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't check my kick. He's like, whatever, dude. He checked it. <laughs> Anyway, that was freaking crazy. If you haven't seen it, go go Google it or YouTube it, and I'm sure there's gonna be footage of it everywhere. Um, we're waiting for the driver to arrive, and while we're doing that, we're cleaning up and stuff like that. I cannot wait to see this bike, guys. I've been waiting for so long. Uh, God, it's gonna be incredible. Shout out to Santa Barbara Ducati for getting me this bike. I placed the order for this bike <clears throat> on the day it was announced back in, I believe it was in November of last year. So it's been eight months, almost nine months, I've been waiting for this thing. And there's a whole, hmm, I might go into it later about what happened with Ducati because I wasn't happy about it. But um, yeah, we got a big surprise coming in this video as well, so stay tuned. You guys didn't believe me in what? the other video. Why? Look, this is what she does. First thing she eats in the morning, wakes up, donuts. Donuts. You know how they don't, you know how you keep them from go going to waste, teens? You eat them. You don't buy them. You know. Mmm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. slash Christina Khalil. Desi, are you excited for the SP, bud? I got it to match you. You're the same color. You're the same color of the SP. Look at you. Yeah, you're the same color, bud. Look at the baby. He, he just walks around and, why are you chewing on the flowers? Like, what, what would make you want to do that, weirdo? Look at his skunk tail. Skunk tail, skunk tail, Desi boy. He's such a scary boy. He looks like mob boss. He's running the entire state of Pennsylvania right now. You don't even know it. <laughs> Look, Teens has given Desi a cat, it, a cat joint. It's a joint, and he really wants. Look it. at him! Oh my god! <laughs> it's okay. You it's idiot! Okay. We didn't see that. He lost his mind. He loses his mind over these. Look at him. What is wrong with you, bud? Oh, He's going okay. hamsies. Okay. That's his now. That's his. Yeah, that's his. He's going hamsies on it. Look at him. What are you doing, bud? He's like, don't touch my marijuana. It's a uh, catnip. That's what it is. Look at him. <laughs> Look at this, boys. It is time. In this truck right here is a limited edition $40,000 Panigale V4 SP, and I cannot wait to see this thing. All right, they're pulling it off right now behind me. I told him not to turn around because I, I, I want to get his impressions. Okay. Both Victor from Santa Barbara Ducati and Trevor from Santa Barbara Ducati, and I think Preston as well, said this is the most beautiful bike they've ever seen, period. Ever in their showroom. Not Corey. Everyone but Corey, basically. Corey loved it too. I mean, he test rode it. He's the one that PDI that did everything. How's it look, teens? Hold on. I can't see. It's behind the bush. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. That is beastly looking. That is insane. Wow. Black, guys. Got to gotta go black. Holy crap. That's beautiful. Number 223. Now this is a limited numbered edition bike, but we don't know how many they're gonna make. They haven't announced that yet. My guess is a couple hundred because of COVID and stuff. Dude, this is great. It has a lot of limited edition parts, both from the Super Legera and from the um, Panigale D4R. This is the R tank. 
It's got the super leggera electronics, the super leggera wheels. What you see the these wheels? What does the dash look like? Um, I don't know, let's see. Good Lord. I'm so excited right now. Look at that. Yeah, it has the updated dash as well. It's in race mode. Of course, Corey rode in, in race mode and it has a different like race modes, A's and B's and stuff like that. All right, we gotta take care of some paperwork real quick and then we'll look over the bike some more. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is ride this beast over to the garage. So let's get a first start up here. And because it needs to be wiped down, I wanna wipe this whole thing down. Got a little bit dirty in transit. Let's hear some health sounds. So first thing we need to do is wipe this puppy down because she's dirty. And the big announcement, guys, that I've been talking to you about for the past couple months now is that I'm actually giving this bike away. So the reason why I wanted to do this is twofold. One, I already have my limited edition Lamborghini Diablo 1260 in there. So I don't feel like I need another limited edition Ducati. And no one in the world, as far as I know, has ever given away a limited edition Ducati. So now on Patreon, when you sign up, you'll be entered to win our custom Ducati Monster 1200 and this brand new 2021 Ducati Panigale V4 SP. I think that's super freaking cool. I'm really, really excited about it. Manny from Moto Million has a bunch of really cool parts we're gonna be adding to this. I don't think we're gonna be changing too much stuff, but obviously it needs exhaust, stuff cleaned up. Um, there's you know clear clutch cover. There's a bunch of stuff that we can do, um, and I think it's going to be incredible. Teens, are you excited? It's really beautiful, and yes, I am excited. So, because you've never done something like this, I no. think it's just one of a kind yep. giveaway, you know? And we're giving away two bikes, so right now, you, if you sign up on Patreon, you'll be entered to win this and the, uh, the Monster 1200. And, um, you know, if you guys have questions about how all of that works, you can just go on the Patreon page on the main page there, and it's all explained. It'll be all updated right now to reflect the monster, uh, to reflect this bike being added to the build. And I'm super, super excited for this, man. I can't wait for Dotto to ride this. It's gonna be freaking. I awesome. can't wait to ride it. Are you gonna ride it? Yeah, hell, hell yeah. yeah. My dad's gonna probably, my dad will definitely ride it. Are you this. gonna put, are you gonna open that up for the dry clutch? Yeah, it actually came with a cover that Preston and them sent out to me. So that should be here in a couple of days. And so it comes with a cover that shows the dry clutch and everything. It's a little carbon cover. It looks so freaking awesome. Awesome. Um, and it has some other pieces. And as carbon well. wheels? Yeah. These are the Super Legera carbon wheels, teens. These That's are $10,000 cool. if you order them from Ducati. Oh my God. Yeah. They're freaking insane. And it's cool because these are the same make of wheels we put on the Monster, except obviously they're a little bit different. They don't allow them to put a wheel, this exact wheel, on anything else other than this bike or the Super Legera. And then it comes with the Rizoma rear sets that are really, really nice. It already has, look, all the Brembo brake master upgrades and stuff with adjustment right here for brake fade. Like this is a bona fide track bike. They, they basically said you would be faster on a track with this bike than you would with the B4R. Wow. Yeah, that's how insane this is. Philly poo. So yeah, that's the big announcement. That's the big surprise. You can now be entered to win a custom Ducati Monster or this bike right here. And it's alive <laughs> as of right now. So go over to the Patreon page, get signed up, help support the projects and uh, be entered to win one or two <laughs> insane Ducatis. Never done it before. Phil, you're, you're not allowed to I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm waiting for my pops to come over and I think Dotto's gonna come over a little bit later, but until they're ready, we're gonna go grab some breakfast because I am starving Marvin. So we're gonna just tuck it right inside here behind the C8, I guess. Since the yeah. C8 drives, so that's a perfect place for it. Oh yeah, whatever. I can't wait to get this next to the uh, the monster or the no the diavel yeah two limited edition 2021 ducatis next to each other how epic is i can't believe i'm giving this away i'm kind of in second thoughts now that i'm looking at it <laughs> but someone's do, gonna be really happy the things i do for youtube you know and for the patrons look at this thing in here it matches your car teens it does you see that the matte black with the red oh wow it does look at that that's Whoa, pretty good that's pretty good. What looks better, C8 or the Ducati? I'm gonna guess people on my channel are gonna say Ducati. And if you don't, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Oof. 
All right, so I just talked to my pops. Him and his buddy Kobe are gonna cruise over to our house um, in a little bit. We're hoping that it doesn't rain on them, uh, so they wanna check out the bike. Um, and then I think Dotto might come over a little bit later as well, but we're starving, we haven't eaten. So we're gonna go get some food at the Silver Springs Diner, which is amazing. Eggs Benny. Eggs Benny, they do have Eggs Benny there. And actually, I think I'm gonna get some pancakes and God knows what else. But um, yeah, I'm excited, man. I, I'm. Like, I was just talking to Corey and Preston and Victor and all them, and they were like, I can't believe you're giving that bike away. They were like, now that you saw it in person, do you still want to give it away? And I'm like, I don't know, not really. But you already said it, so you have to. But I already said it, so, yeah, wow. The Silver Springs Diner, and it's literally Sunday, so it's just, it's just a ridiculous amount of old people coming from church. I want waffles. <laughs> Waffle fries. Or I'm having waffles. Um, I'm having waffles. In the moment, we have waffles. Waffle fries. What are you doing? I'm gonna blow this at Phil. You're gonna, blow, gonna Phil? blow Phil? On camera. For YouTube. Oh no! It doesn't work? What happened? Oh! oh. Dang! Direct hit to the neck. How's that feel? Really went through. How's that feel, bud? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, food has arrived. I went with eggs, toast, home fries, bacon, and French toast. This is, believe it or not, just one breakfast. I'm not even gonna eat half of this. This is, we should have split this. I got a breakfast sandwich on a croissant. I didn't that want the home fries, incredible. but they gave it to me anyway, so yeah. home fries. This was like, I think $5. This was $5. For, the, $5 for that plate of food, $5. Phil? Eggs Benny. Eggs Benny, that actually looks That's incredible. Really hey, you're gonna have to help me with some of this. And then some of that. Cause there's no way I'm gonna eat all this. Okay. Oh yeah, side a side of gravy. Of gravy. Cause it's Phil, why not? Gravy's awesome, dude. <laughs> All right, so here's a question, guys. Phil's a huge fan of Teslas, and last night my dad's friend brought over his Tesla Model Y, and I took it for a drive, and it's actually pretty insane, and a lot more fun than I thought it would be. So what do you think about a Model X? You can get the Plaid Edition, uh, 340 miles on a charge, 2.5 seconds, zero to 60, a 9.9 .9 quarter mile, and it's 1,000 horsepower. I don't know, that's... That's pretty badass. It looks really nice too. The steering wheel's a little odd, but um, it pretty much checks all the boxes that we were interested in. 22 speaker, 960 watt stereo system. Holy crap. The only problem I have with it are twofold. One, there's no sound, which sucks because I love the sound of a combustion motor. And two, charging. I don't know how that's gonna work with going on trips and stuff like that, which, I mean, we don't really do that much, but look at that. That's that's pretty dang impressive, man. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should try out the Tesla Model X? And would you like to see one on the channel? Let us yes. know in the comment section below. Yes, I would like to see one on the channel and in your garage. All right. All right, I think we do need to check them out. Let us know what you guys think. All right, so my dad and um, Kobe were on their way over and they just got slammed by severe thunderstorms, which he said are heading our way. I was gonna go over to Dado's, ride the bike over and show him but I guess I'm not gonna be able to do that. So now I need to clean up all of this stuff out here in the pool area. And we gotta go up on the roof and get rid of a freaking bird's nest before it gets stuck in our damn gutters. Owning a house is, it's awesome, but man, it's always a big pain in my ass. And now I can't even ride the dang bike today because it looks like it's gonna start storming literally any second. Damn, I really wanna ride it over to Dotto's real quick. Should I? Do I risk it caught in the rain? Hmm, that's the question. Well, the next thing we need to get is that stupid bird's nest right over there. I thought we'd be able to get out on this roof here, but I think that's too steep to go out on, and we don't have a ladder. I think it's possible. You're gonna climb on this? I think it's probably, you can hold on to the brick as you go. Mm, that's, or dude. sit on your butt, then you're not, then it's not as steep on your butt. You don't Teens, have to stand. I don't think that you can sit there, you're gonna slide right off. I don't know, I feel like I could get some grip. That's not a good idea. This is like 15 feet up. If you fall onto the concrete, you're gonna bust your head open. All right, you go down there, so if I fall, you catch me. No, I'm trying to think. Uh, we don't have a ladder. How do we get onto the... We have a step ladder. Is there no other window that reaches out to that? No, this is the closest mm, I don't think we should do that. I think we wait for our ladder. It's fine, who cares if it clogs up our, our thing. That's really stupid. All right, we, we have a step ladder. You're Phil's tall enough, maybe he can... I just don't want oh, to and we'll the use... room because... Oh. If there's babies still in it. God, you're worrying about their safety over ours. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, it turns out that's way higher than we thought it was. Because 
This is. This house is super <laughs> yeah, it's like everything's just like I don't know. It's like built for giants right. apparently. I'm riding away. You wanna? You wanna ride away? It is really hot right now. And where's these storms that my dad got hit by? Cause I don't really see them. They're gonna go around us. Do you see them? Should I ride over to Dado's real quick? Probably just show him the bike. And then ride back yeah. and hope. Hey, if it rains, just leave it there and I can pick you up. Okay, you know. that sounds good. Let's do it. All right, Philly Poo is leaving. He's heading back to North Carolina, but he'll be back in two weeks. In two weeks, and he's gonna be driving through. He drove through uh, what a hurricane to get here, That's and it. now there's severe thunderstorm warnings to head back. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm hey, we're gonna miss you. All right. He's hungover and tired. See ya. But he's a trooper. See ya. Love you. <laughs> All right, so I had to come over real quick to Dado's and show him the Panigale V4 SP. And obviously Dotto already knew. Yeah, sorry, he was mowing and stuff, so. Super dirty. <laughs> Farmer Dotto. What do you think of that thing, dude? <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Look, number 223, limited edition. Superleggera wheels, Superleggera electronics, Superleggera brakes, Panigale V4R bodywork, brushed aluminum tank. <laughs> Look at this, guys. So now you can be entered to win a $40,000 V4 Panigale SP and a probably going to be $50,000 Monster Custom Monster 1200. And look, they have the very similar wheels, BST Rapid Tech carbon fiber wheels, full titanium exhaust. We're going to be trying a couple, I think we're going to be trying a couple different exhausts on this. I might try the Termi slip on first and then we'll do like maybe a full tie system after that. I want to do like before and after dyno th numbers and stuff like that. Try some stuff we haven't done before. But man, isn't that insane, Dotto? I don't really have any words right now. <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. This, this rivals our carbon V4 build. I mean, once we're done with it, you know. Yeah. But I think we're going to keep these the paint scheme. Manny was talking about maybe sending us like full carbon fairings for it. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to change this. We'll, I'll, we'll ask the patrons and get YouTube feedback and all that in a future video. But I, I can't wait for you to ride it. Aluminum. Isn't that incredible? It's, so it's always one of my favorite features, man but definitely need to get rid of some stuff hanging off of it. But I'm not sure, this is kind of weird. Like it has an adjustable brake for the brake fade, but I hate this line running across it. So I don't know, we might put on the RCS masters and do our own things with these. I'm gonna have to do a whole, I gotta talk to Manny and get feedback from the patrons and everything like that. But um, it has the electronic suspension. It's funny how they put the adjuster opposite so you can actually feel the brake uh -huh, you're while you're doing it. it. Yeah. Cool. How freaking epic is this thing? Can you believe we're gonna be building this, dude? No, I can't. <laughs> Holy shit. And it came with the beautiful Rizoma adjustable rear sets. Look at those. Man. And it has a dry clutch too, Dotto. How much can we do on this thing? There's still a lot to do, honestly. I mean, think about it. Chain and sprocket setup. It does come with a 520 chain, but we're still gonna replace all that. Um, carbon fiber here. There's a lot of carbon accents we can do. I wanna remove that all together. Carbon here on the on the uh, frame covers here. Um, we can actually re upgrade the whole brake system. Uh, we can do braided lines. We can do new rotors in the back. We can do, um, what's this guy here? TWM carbon gas cap. We can still redo the whole handlebar setup. Personally, I, I, I think we do the RCS uh, 17 and 16 masters. Obviously get rid of all the mirrors, whatever, full, t full exhaust system, sprint filter, up map, you know. We need to do the dry clutch uh, cover on it. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do still. You know what I mean? Like, I love that it's a drive. It's, yeah, dude, it's gonna be, oh. So, I mean, yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do. Obviously, radiator guards we need to do. Um, we wanna try to do maybe an exhaust we've never done before on this. We wanna try to do some stuff we haven't done before, but this bike is absolutely insane. It has the Evolution Evo 3 electronic system from the Superleggera Dotto. Look at these riding modes. Let's see how many miles it has on it. 11 miles. Jesus. <laughs> and eight of those or 10 of those were from Corey. Look, so it has two race modes now, A and B. Ooh. Yeah, so those are straight lifted straight off the Superleggera. And it's got sport and street. I'm keeping it in sport right now or breaking it in. What's the difference between the two? Race modes, yeah. just different engine, engine deliveries, different, um, you know, it has, this has drift control, dude. So you can let the wheel slide. You can pick how far you want the wheel to slide out and stuff. That's right. <laughs> we will at some point, but how freaking badass is that? So 
We just finished our, our first ever two bike giveaway build in California where we did the Street Fighter and the um, Panigale V2. And I thought that was gonna be like the end all be all build. And then I had originally ordered this for myself, but Ducati took a little bit longer to get it to me. And I was a little bit upset about it. The fact that I didn't get like basically the first shipment in the US or even the second shipment. It was like the third or fourth shipment. And that really upset me. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna add it to the build. Why not, you know? Give away a limited edition Ducati. No one's ever done it before. And why don't we be the first? Dude, they actually look really cool in black next to each other. Look at that. This is crazy. Just in the middle of central Pennsylvania. Yeah. The limited edition Ducati, dude. I can't wait to ride it. I can't wait for you to ride it too. That'll be coming in the next video. But yeah, how freaking sick is that? Are you excited, bud? Super Couldn't be in better hands. <laughs> We're taking photos right now of the bikes. Guys, I just can't believe that. That's so badass. That monster probably is at 40,000 already, just with how it sits. By the time we're done, I think we're gonna strip the tank on the monster too, so they're gonna be like matching. This is gonna be one hell of a giveaway, but I think we're actually just gonna give away from now on, when I do like more than one bike, I'm just gonna, if a bike gets finished, say for example, we finished the monster before the SP, I'm just gonna give it away um, whenever it's done. So that way we don't have to wait. We don't have to wait for bikes to be finished because my goal for the giveaways is to constantly have multiple bikes going on at the same time so that you guys are entered to win. I want to give away more bikes, give back it, it, you know, more, more to you guys for supporting us and stuff like that. And um, I think that this is the perfect way to do it. So God, look at that. That is so freaking badass, dude. I, I cannot wait to start tearing into that SP and just getting rid of some stuff. It's gonna look so much better. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? All right, I gotta get this home before it starts raining. Dotto, I'll see you soon when we take this puppy out for its maiden voyage. <laughs> First ride on the SP is gonna be coming next. All right, I made it back home safely before the storm hit. And I just wanted to pull out my Lambo Diavel to have it sitting next to the SP2 2021 limited edition Ducatis. Let me know which one you guys would rather have in the comments. That's number 223. 334. <laughs> oh, really? 223 yeah. and 334. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Um, let me know which one of these you would rather have in the comment section below. Would you take the 2021 Panigale V4 SP or would you take the 2021 Lamborghini Diavel 1260? Teens, which one would you pick? I love that. The looks? Something about this is just like It's so in person, unique. In person, it's, yeah, it's very unique. It's, I don't know, it's beautiful. The green looks great. It's a tough choice for me. It's very tough. Yes. Yeah, but you know the, the one that I chose. I'm keeping that one, and I'm adding this to the build series. Die. Limited edition. That's crazy. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Yeah. Never been done before. So yeah. Again. There you go. We thought last time was gonna be the last time we do two bikes, and here we are doing it again. I know, I know. But I told him this time, as a bike's finished, I'm gonna give it away. So if the monster finishes first, I'll good. give it away, and then we'll add something else as this is getting done, or vice versa, whatever, however it works. So. Yeah, there you go, guys. This uh, I think the next video you're gonna see is us uh, taking this out for the yes. for its maiden voyage. Um, it'll be be careful because it's hot. It'll be the first ride on this bad boy. I'll be able to give my first impressions. Oh, yeah, I don't even know if I could ride this. It's so high up. It's high. Yeah. It's very high. Yeah, that's the only problem. It's super aggressive. <laughs> you look so badass on it, though. Ooh, that's crazy. Holy crap. Yeah, look at this trio we got here with the Diavel, the SP, and my R8 just chilling right here. Yeah, it is. It's super hot. I forgot how hot Ducatis get. Well, the Panigales get very hot. I actually have a heat shield kit from uh, Ducati Spacers. Kevin sent out for me, so that we'll definitely put that on there. But I'm excited, man. I this, don't want to touch it. It's so beautiful. It is. It's a gorgeous bike. But yeah, there you go, guys. I'm super, super excited. Ma massive shout out to Ducati Santa Barbara for getting me this bike. I massively appreciate that. They took care of me. And then, of course, K uh, Caleb from TCI Logistics. They got this thing shipped over here in like four days, five days across the country so if you guys yeah, need shipping stuff I'll put his information in the comment section below and then of course a huge shout out to Manny from Moto Million he's gonna be sponsoring this build getting us all of our parts for the SP build and uh, we have some epic stuff in store I cannot wait for you guys to see what we're gonna do with this bike 
and of course we'll be getting feedback from you as well so that's the big surprise yeah it's starting to rain here we got to wrap things up but uh that was the big surprise i've been keeping from you guys um you know not only am i did i take delivery of the sp but i'm adding it to my build series i'm actually giving away a limited edition ducati uh if you guys want to help support the projects and be entered to win one of these bikes not this one but the monster and the sp uh patreon.com slash camp customs it's always the first link in the description below let me know which one of these bikes you would take and uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and we'll see you all in the next one peace